Stanford University. My name is Julie Ruff. I'm a senior at Stanford. I'm a math and computational science major, and I'm the president of the Ceramics Club this year. And last summer, I did a project where I tried to integrate marine biology and ceramics. I think that what I love the most about marine life and why I like doing things based on that is that it's so different from what we think of when you think of an animal or a plant or any sort of living creature. And I think it's great that there's these animals that are genetically identic and grow together and yet have these different functions within the colony. So I'm just kind of amazed by them. Going down to Hopkins was a big part of it. And we spent the first part of the day looking at things in tide pools uh, just with the naked eye. And then went and brought some of the stuff that we'd seen in the tide pools back to the lab and got out some microscopes and put it in slides and started looking at it and poking it. There's a lot of beautiful forms in marine life and a lot of it's very difficult to put into ceramics because so much of it is about tentacles and gossamer strands and really flowy things that you can't capture directly in something that's going to be very clay and very hard and not mobile. So what I made was obviously not a picture of the animals. It's very much just inspired by their very interesting shapes. I guess the bryozoa might be my favorite piece. And they have both an outer shell and a very complicated inner soft creature, which is super interesting because you know, they are basically one big gut that takes in food and spits out food. For those, I had a fairly clear sense that I wanted to make something that had to do with the outer shell, and I wanted to capture their very geometric way of growing next to each other. They have a, a very tiled pattern that I knew that I wanted to capture, so I knew I wanted to make a bunch of pieces and put them all together. Ceramic starts with a bag of clay, um, which is fairly wet, fairly plastic, and can be molded and stuck together, and basically the drawing board for everything. Most of my pieces were thrown, which means that they're made on a wheel, uh, spinning, so they're going to be symmetric when they first come off the wheel, and then I'll do things to alter them. I think the last big moment for me was when I had everything glazed and I put it into the kiln and I had filled up the entire kiln with my own pieces, which was really cool to see. It was really great for me to see everything at an exhibit, to see it with professional looking lights on it and in a display cabinet and sort of glimmering and all set up together. Because a lot of my pieces are colonies and their separate pieces, it was really nice to see them actually all laid out together at once, which I hadn't seen before the reception. And I like having it on display. I think it's important for me that people are able to see it. So that was really nice. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.